All right, let's start with a real question. How many times have you found yourself in a relationship wondering, what does she really want? Or maybe you've been in the dating world and just can't figure out what mature women are looking for. Well, if you've ever had those moments, I want you to know, you're not alone. The truth is, mature women aren't as mysterious as they seem. They just wish you understood them better. And no, they won't always come out and say it. In today's video, I'm going to pull back the curtain on 10 secrets that women over 50 won't tell you, but truly wish you knew. This isn't just theory. These are insights grounded in real-world psychology, real experiences, and most importantly, they'll help you build better, more fulfilling connections with the women in your life. Trust me, these are game changers. And if you stick with me through all 10, you'll not only know how to navigate relationships better, but you'll also feel more confident in your ability to connect. Sound good? Let's dive in. Before we get into the first secret, I want to make sure you're subscribed. If you've been on this journey of better understanding relationships, trust me, you'll want to stick around for future videos where we tackle even more about intimacy, attraction, and what makes relationships work as we age. So, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. Secret 1. She values emotional intelligence. All right, let's kick things off with the first secret. Mature women, women in their 40s, 50s, and beyond, crave something deeper than just looks or physical attraction. They value emotional intelligence, and trust me, this is a big one. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Emotional intelligence? What does that even mean? Let's break it down. Emotional intelligence is the ability to recognize, understand, and manage your own emotions, as well as recognize, understand, and influence the emotions of others. Sounds a bit complicated, right? But here's the thing. Women are experts at reading emotional cues, and they want a partner who can do the same. Why emotional intelligence matters. Here's a quick science-backed fact for you. Studies show that emotional intelligence is linked to better relationship satisfaction, especially as we age. When you're emotionally intelligent, you're not only able to connect with her on a deeper level, but you're also able to handle difficult situations with ease and grace. Why does this matter for you? Well, as you get older, relationships change. You're no longer in that initial honeymoon phase where everything is exciting and new. Things get deeper, more real. Life's pressures, career stress, health changes, family dynamics, all start weighing in, and emotional intelligence is your secret weapon to navigating all of that. Without it, things tend to unravel. How to cultivate emotional intelligence in your relationships now, let me give you some practical tips on how to boost your emotional intelligence. This isn't about being overly sensitive. It's about becoming aware of both your emotions and hers. 1. Practice active listening. This one's simple, but powerful. The next time you're having a conversation with her, really listen. And I don't just mean hearing the words she's saying. I mean feeling what she's feeling. Notice her tone, her body language, the pauses in her speech. Acknowledge her emotions and let her know you understand. When you say things like, I hear you, that must be tough, it shows you're invested in her experience. Let's say she's venting about work. Instead of jumping in with solutions or saying something like, you just need to get over it, acknowledge her feelings first. Something like, that sounds really stressful. I can imagine that's tough. You'd be amazed at how much this little shift can change the dynamic of the conversation. 2. Validate her emotions. Now, I know it's tempting to play the problem solver, but in most cases, mature women don't want to fix. They want to be validated. They want to feel understood. When she's talking about her feelings, try this. Don't rush to fix her feelings or offer advice unless she asks for it. Just validate what she's feeling. This can look like, 
I can see why that would upset you. Or, that sounds frustrating. I can understand why you feel that way. Trust me, sometimes just hearing that is enough. It shows you're emotionally available and that you respect her feelings. 3. Check in with your own emotions. Self-awareness is a key part of emotional intelligence. How do you react when emotions are running high? Are you calm and collected? Or do you get defensive and shut down? By understanding your emotional responses, you'll be better equipped to handle hers. A simple practice here is taking a deep breath when you feel yourself getting frustrated. Ask yourself, what's really going on here? Why am I feeling this way? By checking in with your own emotions, you'll avoid reacting impulsively and can respond in a way that strengthens the connection rather than pushes her away. The science behind emotional intelligence. Here's where things get interesting. Science tells us that emotional intelligence is not just about being nice. It's actually tied to brain chemistry. For example, when we're emotionally intelligent, we're better able to regulate our emotions, which reduces stress and makes us feel more in control of our lives. This lowers cortisol levels, the stress hormone, and increases oxytocin, the bonding hormone. How does this help you? When you engage in emotionally intelligent behavior, you're not just making her feel good. You're improving your own emotional state, too. It's a win-win. A quick story to illustrate. I had a friend named Greg who was really struggling with his relationship. His partner, Jennifer, kept telling him, You never listen to me. You don't get it. Greg's first reaction? He'd try to solve her problems thinking that would help. But all that did was frustrate her more. Then, one day... Greg finally listened, not just with his ears, but with his heart. He started acknowledging her feelings first, letting her vent without interruption. And you know what happened? They started having better conversations, and their relationship grew stronger. Why? Because he understood that connection comes from empathy, not solutions. So, there you have it. Emotional intelligence is key. When you understand her emotions and can communicate your own, you create a space for deeper connection. It's a game changer. Before we jump into the next secret, don't forget to like this video if you've found these insights helpful. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? There's so much more to explore, and I'd love for you to be a part of this journey. Secret 2. Confidence without arrogance. Let's talk about confidence. Real, authentic confidence. Mature women have spent enough time in relationships to spot fake bravado from a mile away. What they're looking for isn't a man who boasts about his achievements, but someone who is comfortable in his own skin. Confidence is quiet. It's not about talking over people or showing off. It's about knowing who you are, what you stand for, and being okay with not being perfect. Why confidence matters. Here's the science. Studies from social psychology show that confidence is universally attractive because it signals competence and stability. For women, particularly mature women, it also signals reliability. But here's the kicker. When confidence veers into arrogance, it has the opposite effect. Women are turned off by someone who constantly needs to prove himself because it comes across as insecurity. Practical tips to build and show confidence. 1. Focus on self-improvement. Confidence comes from competence. Whether it's your career, hobbies, or fitness, commit to improving yourself a little every day. Women notice effort. It's attractive when a man is always learning and growing. 2. Stay grounded in conversations. Instead of talking about yourself, ask thoughtful questions about her life, passions, or interests. A confident man doesn't need to dominate the conversation to feel important. 3. Handle rejection. Gracefully, rejection happens. Whether it's in dating or life, how you handle setbacks says a lot about your character. A confident man doesn't take it personally. He learns and moves forward. I once knew a guy named Tom. Tom wasn't flashy, 
He didn't drive a luxury car or wear designer clothes. But whenever he walked into a room, people were drawn to him. Why? Because he was grounded. One day, I asked him his secret, and he said, I just try to make people feel comfortable and let the rest take care of itself. And it worked. Women loved him, not because he was trying to impress them, but because he made them feel at ease. That's confidence in action. Secret three, making her feel desired. That's secret number two. Confidence is about being grounded and authentic, not showy or self-absorbed. So how do you build on that foundation? By making her feel desired. And before you jump to conclusions, this isn't just about physical intimacy. It's about emotional connection too. Let me explain. Here's something mature women rarely say out loud. They want to feel wanted. They've spent years giving to others, whether it's in relationships, careers, or raising families. Often, they've put themselves last. When you show her she's desirable, not just physically but emotionally and intellectually, you give her something she deeply craves but might not know how to ask for. A 2019 study published in Psychological Science found that feeling valued and desired in a relationship directly correlates to higher relationship satisfaction, especially for women. It's not just about compliments, it's about showing consistent appreciation. How to make her feel desired without being overbearing one. Express genuine compliments. Mature women can tell when a compliment is fake or generic. Instead of saying, you look nice, try something specific like, that color really brings out your eyes. It shows you're paying attention. Two, show physical affection when appropriate. A gentle touch on her arm, holding her hand, or even a warm smile can speak volumes. Physical connection isn't just about the bedroom. It's about little moments of closeness. Three, acknowledge her accomplishments. Whether it's her career, her creativity, or her resilience, recognize what makes her unique. A simple, I really admire how you handled that situation, can make her feel seen and valued. Let me share a quick story. A couple I know, let's call them Sarah and Jim, had been married for 25 years. One day, Sarah told me the moment she fell in love with Jim all over again. She said, I was having a terrible day, and without saying a word, he brought me my favorite cup of tea and just sat with me. That small gesture made me feel so loved and appreciated. It wasn't about grand romantic gestures. It was about paying attention and showing he cared. That's what it means to make her feel desired. So, now you know two more secrets. Confidence without arrogance and making her feel desired. These are game changers for building deeper, more meaningful connections with mature women. But we're just getting started. In part three, we're going to talk about independence and why respecting her space is essential. You won't want to miss this one. It's a biggie. If you're finding this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you're the first to know when the next part drops. Let's keep growing together. We covered two major secrets. How confidence without arrogance is one of the most magnetic traits you can cultivate and how making her feel desired goes far beyond physical attraction. Now, let's move into some of the deeper layers of mature relationships, things that many men overlook, but that can make a world of difference. If you're over 50, these next secrets are especially important to understand. So, grab a cup of coffee, settle in, and let's dive in. Secret four, independence is key. Here's something many men don't fully grasp. Mature women value their independence deeply. They have their own lives, their careers, their passions, and they don't wanna give them up just because they're in a relationship. You may think that being needy or overly dependent is a sign of affection, but that's actually a huge turnoff. Trust me, while women enjoy the closeness that comes with intimacy, they also need space to pursue their interests and be themselves. Let's talk science for a minute. 
Research consistently shows that women, especially those in their 40s, 50s, and beyond, tend to have a stronger sense of self. They've been through enough life experiences to know what they like, what they don't like, and what they need from a partner. They're looking for someone who complements their life, not someone who demands to be their whole world. So, what does that mean for you? Simply put, respecting her need for independence is a sign of maturity, and it makes you more attractive. How to show you respect, her independence, one. Support her passions. Encourage her to pursue her hobbies, career goals, or personal projects. Maybe she loves painting, or she's passionate about fitness. Instead of seeing these things as competition for your time, embrace them. It shows that you respect her autonomy and value her individuality. 2. Give her space without guilt. A lot of men mistakenly think that giving a woman space means they're doing something wrong, or that she doesn't want them around. That's not the case. She may just need time for herself. Be okay with that. Let her enjoy her solo moments without making it about you. 3. Celebrate her achievements. When she does something amazing, whether it's a career milestone or an accomplishment in her personal life, don't make it about you. Celebrate her for her own success. When you do, you show that you value her independence and respect her as a person in her own right. I want to share a story about my friends, Emily and Peter. They've been married for 30 years, and one of the keys to their long-lasting relationship is the space they give each other. Emily loves to go on weekend hiking trips with her friends. At first, Peter struggled with this. He didn't want to feel left out, but he learned to embrace it. Now, when she heads off for her hikes, he uses the time to dive into his hobbies or catch up with friends. And when Emily returns, she's recharged and ready to give him her full attention. Their relationship works, because they each have room to grow independently, while still nurturing their bond together. Secret 5. She's watching how you handle aging aging. Oh boy, now there's a topic no one likes to talk about, right? But here's the thing. How you handle your own aging speaks volumes about your character and attractiveness. Women notice when men approach aging with grace, and they also notice when men struggle with it. You might think that physical appearance is the key to maintaining attraction, but it's actually about how you carry yourself. Do you embrace the process, or do you fight it at every turn? Research from the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology has shown that people are more drawn to those who have a positive attitude toward aging. Confidence in your ability to grow older gracefully is not just physically appealing, it's psychologically attractive. Women want a partner who is emotionally resilient, who understands that life changes, and who adapts with grace. Practical tips for handling aging. Well, one, prioritize health and fitness. Take care of your body, not because you want to look 20 again, but because your health is an investment in your future. Exercise regularly, eat healthy, and get enough sleep. When you look after your body, you project vitality and energy, which is incredibly attractive. Two, embrace new experiences. Don't fall into the trap of thinking you've seen it all. Stay open to new experiences. Travel, try new hobbies, and keep expanding your horizons. Women love men who continue to evolve, even in their later years. Three, be comfortable with change. Aging doesn't just affect your body, it affects your mindset and emotions. A mature woman wants a partner who embraces change with optimism and confidence. Be open to discussing your fears, but also share how you're taking control of your own future. I have a close friend, John, who's in his mid-50s. John decided a few years ago to focus on staying fit, not to impress anyone, but for his own health. He took up swimming, changed his diet, and began meditating. Here's the thing. He looks better than he did in his 40s, not because he's obsessed with reversing aging, but because he's embraced the process and taken care of himself. His energy is contagious, and it's not just women who notice. 
It's everyone around him. Secret six, effort over perfection. Here's a secret that will change everything for you. Women aren't looking for perfection. They're looking for effort. Especially as we age, we realize that life is messy, relationships are complicated, and nothing is perfect. What women really appreciate is the effort you put into maintaining the relationship, showing affection, and keeping the spark alive. Psychological research suggests that effort and consistency in relationships are far more significant than any attempt at perfection. Women, particularly in their 40s and 50s, understand that life isn't about checking off boxes. They just want to feel that you're committed and that you're willing to show up for them. How to put in the effort without overthinking it. 1. Small gestures. Go a long way. It's the little things that matter. A sweet text in the morning, a surprise date night, or just picking up her favorite treat at the store. You don't need grand gestures. Just show her that you're thinking of her, and she'll feel valued. 2. Be consistent. Show her that you're committed to the relationship every day, not just on special occasions. Consistency builds trust and deepens emotional intimacy. 3. Learn to apologize when necessary. Perfection isn't about never making mistakes. It's about how you handle them. If you mess up, own up to it. A sincere apology and a willingness to make things right show that you care more about the relationship than your pride. I know a couple, Alice and George, who've been married for 40 years. They don't do anything particularly extravagant, but they are incredibly consistent with their efforts. Every evening, George brings Alice a cup of tea before bed. It's their small ritual, and Alice has told me more than once that it's one of the things that has kept their love alive. It's not about perfection. It's about showing up day after day in small but meaningful ways. So, there you have it. Three more crucial secrets. Respect her independence, handle aging gracefully, and focus on effort over perfection. These aren't just nice-to-know tips. They are essential for creating lasting connections and building the kind of relationship you want at this stage of life. But don't go anywhere. We've got more secrets to uncover. In part four, we're going to tackle authenticity, communication, and why mature women need you to be real with them. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's keep this journey going together. We've already unlocked several crucial secrets about relationships with mature women, including why confidence is so attractive, the importance of respecting her independence, and how effort can outshine perfection. If you've been following along, you're already ahead of the game. But trust me, we're not done yet. We're going to dive into three of the most powerful traits that will not only help you connect deeply with women, but also help you become the best version of yourself in relationships. Ready for this? Let's talk about authenticity, communication, and vulnerability. These are the things mature women really wish you understood. Secret seven, authenticity is everything. Let's kick things off with something simple yet profound. Be authentic. I know, I know, you've heard it before, but have you really internalized it? Women, especially those over 50, are incredibly attuned to insincerity. It's not that they're hypercritical. It's just that they've seen enough to know when someone is trying to be something they're not. Mature women appreciate men who are genuinely themselves. Authenticity isn't just about honesty. It's about being comfortable with who you are, flaws and all. When you try to be someone you're not, it just doesn't work in the long term. Here's the thing. According to research in the Journal of Social and Personal Relationships, authenticity is directly tied to relationship satisfaction. When both partners feel they can truly be themselves, they experience greater emotional intimacy and trust. For mature women, authenticity is especially important because they've lived long enough to know what they want and need in a relationship. If you're trying to impress her with a false version of yourself, chances are she'll pick up on it, eventually. But if you're just yourself, showing up honestly, 
that's where the magic happens. How to cultivate and show authenticity. One, be honest about your feelings. If something's bothering you, don't hide it. Communicate openly and honestly about how you're feeling, whether it's excitement, frustration, or confusion. Women appreciate men who express their emotions in a healthy way, rather than bottling them up. Two, don't try to be perfect. You don't have to have all the answers or be the perfect partner. Authenticity comes from showing up as you are with your strengths and weaknesses. In fact, sharing your struggles makes you more relatable and approachable. Three, don't pretend to be interested in things you're not. If she's talking about something that doesn't excite you, like her hobby or interests, don't fake enthusiasm. Instead, ask questions to learn more. Genuinely engaging with her interests shows you care about what's important to her without trying to be someone you're not. I want to tell you about a guy I know, Mark. He's in his 50s, and he was dating a woman named Rachel. Early on, he made a decision. He would just be himself. He didn't try to impress her with fancy stories or exaggerated accomplishments. At first, Rachel was skeptical. She thought, there must be something he's hiding. But as time went on, she realized that Mark was just genuine. No pretenses, no games. Eventually, she told him, I've dated a lot of men, but I've never met someone who's so comfortable being himself. It's refreshing. That's the power of authenticity. It's magnetic. Secret 8. Communication is more than words. Okay, let's talk about communication. This one's huge, but not in the way you might think. Communication isn't just about talking. It's about how you listen, how you respond, and how you show that you're fully present with her. Mature women are really good at picking up on subtle cues, and they notice when communication is superficial, or worse, when it's missing entirely. Healthy communication means not only expressing your thoughts, but also being receptive to hers. The key is balance, giving her the space to share, while also sharing openly yourself. According to a study in the Journal of Marriage and Family, nonverbal communication, like body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice, plays a bigger role than the words themselves in shaping relationship dynamics. This is especially true for mature women, who've learned to read between the lines after years of experience. Here's a great example. If you're listening to her talk, but you're distracted by your phone or you're looking around the room, she'll notice. It doesn't matter if your words are kind. Your actions are saying something else. How to improve communication. Beyond words one. Be present in the moment. When she's talking to you, make eye contact. Put down your phone and show that you're fully engaged. Your body language should communicate that you value her words. Two, practice active listening. This isn't just about hearing her, it's about really listening. Nod to show you're following along, ask clarifying questions, and offer feedback that shows you understand what she's saying. Three, avoid interrupting or oversimplifying. Sometimes when women share their feelings, men tend to jump in with solutions. But often, she just wants to be heard, not fixed. So, resist the urge to offer advice unless she asks for it. I know a couple, Susan and James. They've been married for 25 years, and their relationship is incredibly strong. When I asked them what the secret was, James said, I learned early on that I needed to listen, not just hear her, but really listen. I can't tell you how many times I used to interrupt her to solve problems, but once I learned to just listen, everything changed. Susan added, it's not always about having the answers. It's about feeling understood. That's the power of active listening. It makes her feel validated. Secret nine, vulnerability is a strength, not a weakness. Let's talk about vulnerability. For a lot of men, especially as they get older, being vulnerable feels like a risk. But guess what? Mature women actually find vulnerability incredibly attractive. Why? 
because it shows that you're not afraid to be real, to share your emotions, and to be open about your fears and insecurities. Vulnerability is the opposite of the tough guy image. It's an invitation for deeper emotional connection. A study from the American Psychological Association found that couples who practice vulnerability are more likely to have satisfying, long-term relationships. Why? Because vulnerability fosters trust. It lets your partner know that they're safe with you and that they can share their true selves with you too. How to embrace vulnerability in a healthy way. One, share your fears and insecurities. Don't be afraid to admit when you're feeling scared or unsure. Whether it's about your relationship, your health, or your future, showing that you're open to discussing these fears builds trust. Two, be willing to show emotion. If something touches you deeply, whether it's a sad movie or a beautiful moment in your life, don't hide it. Let her see that side of you. It shows that you're not afraid to be real. 3. Be honest about past mistakes. If you've made mistakes in the past, whether in previous relationships or in life, own them. It's okay to admit that you've learned and grown. Women appreciate honesty and self-awareness. I remember a conversation I had with Dave and Helen, who've been married for over 30 years. Dave told me that the moment their relationship deepened was when he started opening up about his childhood struggles. He wasn't looking for sympathy. He was just being honest. Helen shared that it made her feel closer to him. She said, When he showed me his vulnerabilities, I felt like he trusted me with his heart. That's the power of vulnerability. It's not a weakness. It's a bridge to deeper connection. So, there you have it. Three more essential secrets for building a lasting and fulfilling relationship with a mature woman. Be authentic, communicate beyond words, and embrace vulnerability. These are the traits that will make you stand out in the best possible way. And now, we've reached the final part of this journey. Secrets 10. Emotional intimacy and the real keys to long-term love. We've covered so many valuable secrets that women over 50 really wish men understood, from the importance of respecting her independence, to the power of communication, and even embracing vulnerability. We're going to uncover the final, most powerful secret, the kind that truly makes or breaks a relationship. If you've been paying attention so far, you're already doing great. But this one? This one is the foundation of lasting love, are you ready? Let's talk about emotional intimacy and why it's the real key to long-term, lasting love. When you think of intimacy, what comes to mind? Many men might think of physical intimacy, touch, sex, and so on. And yes, physical closeness is important, especially as a relationship grows. But the real key to deep, lasting love? It's emotional intimacy. Here's the thing. Mature women know that relationships built solely on physical attraction or superficial connections don't last. What they need and crave is emotional intimacy, a connection that goes beyond the surface and taps into the heart of who you both are. Why emotional intimacy is the real deal. Psychologists agree that emotional intimacy is one of the most important components of a fulfilling and lasting relationship. Research has found that couples who have strong emotional connections are more likely to experience satisfaction and happiness. But why is emotional intimacy so critical? For one, it provides security and trust. When two people can share their thoughts, feelings, and vulnerabilities without fear of judgment, it creates a bond that's hard to break. And for mature women, emotional intimacy is often more important than physical attraction. By the time they've reached this stage in life, they're looking for someone who understands them, who can connect with them on a deeper level. And here's the kicker. Emotional intimacy often fuels physical intimacy. When a woman feels emotionally connected to a partner, her desire for physical affection and connection increases. It's a beautiful cycle that builds on itself. One, share your thoughts and feelings regularly. You don't have to wait for a special occasion to open up to her. 
regularly sharing what's going on in your head, whether it's about work, family, or life in general, helps build an emotional connection. When you're open about your thoughts and feelings, she feels like she's in your world, and that fosters trust. 2. Listen with empathy. Emotional intimacy isn't just about talking. It's about listening, too. Active listening, where you truly focus on her words and emotions, helps you understand her on a deeper level. When you listen with empathy, you show that you care about her inner world. She needs to know that her emotions and thoughts matter to you. 3. Be vulnerable together. Don't shy away from sharing your fears, your regrets, and your dreams for the future. Vulnerability creates a safe space for both of you to open up. When you share your inner fears, struggles, and aspirations, she feels more comfortable doing the same. This level of emotional transparency deepens your connection in ways nothing else can. Support her in her growth. Part of emotional intimacy is encouraging her to grow and evolve, both as an individual and as part of your partnership. If she's passionate about a new hobby, project, or goal, support her in it. When you stand behind her personal growth, she feels emotionally supported and connected to you in a profound way. I want to share the story of Jane and Thomas, a couple I know who've been together for over 35 years. In the early years of their marriage, they had their fair share of ups and downs, financial struggles, health challenges, and the typical stresses of life. But through it all, they made a conscious effort to stay emotionally connected. Even when things were tough, they would sit down every evening and just talk. They would share their frustrations, but also their hopes for the future. Jane told me once, when I knew he understood me, really understood how I was feeling, that was when I felt closest to him. Through emotional intimacy, their relationship deepened. And even in their 60s, they're still deeply in love, still emotionally intimate with each other. Thomas says, It's not about the big moments. It's about the small, everyday conversations that let us know we're still in this together. That's the power of emotional intimacy. It's a game changer. The real key to long-term love. Now, you might be thinking, Okay, emotional intimacy is important, but is it really the key to lasting love? The answer is yes, absolutely. Think about it. Over time, physical appearance changes and life circumstances shift. But when two people have an emotional connection that runs deep, they can weather life's storms together. Whether it's the ups and downs of work, health challenges, or the simple passage of time, emotional intimacy provides a foundation that helps a relationship stand the test of time. Why emotional intimacy deepens. Over time, it's not always instant. Emotional intimacy takes time to develop and deepen. It's something that evolves as you both grow and share your experiences with each other. But once you reach that deep connection, it changes everything. And the beauty of emotional intimacy is that it doesn't diminish as time goes on. In fact, many couples find that it only grows stronger when you're truly emotionally connected, you have a partner who's not just there physically, but who's invested in your emotional well-being too. You become each other's safe space. Let's talk about how emotional intimacy and physical intimacy are linked. A study published in the Journal of Sex Research found that couples with strong emotional intimacy are more likely to report higher levels of satisfaction with their physical intimacy. Why? Because when you feel emotionally connected, the physical aspect of your relationship becomes more meaningful. You're not just connecting bodies, you're connecting souls. The physical affection you share becomes a natural extension of the emotional closeness you've built. How to keep building emotional intimacy as you grow older. One, keep the conversations going. No matter how long you've been together, don't stop talking. Keep sharing your thoughts and feelings about life, the relationship, and your goals. The more you talk about these things, the more emotionally intimate you'll become. 2. 
Celebrate milestones together. Take time to celebrate the small and big milestones in life. Whether it's a special anniversary, the completion of a personal goal, or simply a quiet evening together. These moments of celebration add layers to your emotional intimacy. Three, don't be afraid to evolve together. You'll change over time. Your needs, desires, and interests will shift. Don't be afraid to grow together. Embrace those changes as a couple and continue to evolve emotionally. So let's wrap this up. We've journeyed together through 10 powerful secrets to understanding mature women and building a deeper, more meaningful relationship with them. From respecting her independence to embracing emotional intimacy, these secrets are the true building blocks of long-lasting love. If you take these insights to heart, you'll not only have a more fulfilling relationship with her, but you'll also grow as a person. Relationships are about connection, and these secrets show you how to connect on a deeper level, both emotionally and physically. I hope this series has been helpful to you. If you found these tips valuable, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video with someone who might need it. Thanks for sticking with me through all five parts. I'm really glad you did. Here's to building relationships that last, grow, and evolve for years to come.